Hello, Anselm Griffin here with another MATLAB tutorial uh, in YouTube. Today we're looking at a compound um, transformation. And just to say, the IP doesn't belong to myself, it belongs to here, to Dave Marshall. So I took that, I added a few comments, and hopefully I'll give a, an explanation that might help some students. So to get these transformations like a rotation, a shear, and a translation, we need a homogeneous set of equations. I assume you know what homogeneous is, but very briefly, uh, you can do rotation and shear. You can do rotation and shear okay using homogeneous and non-homogeneous, but to get the translation to work, you really need the translation to be in a homogeneous form. And I assume we have some idea of that because I don't have time to explain or go in detail what homogeneous is. So my shear factor in the x direction is 3 and my translation in the x direction is 3 and the translation in the y direction is 2. And there's my points. So I'll just look at the points here. So the original points in blue, and we want to, uh, in different orders, do a rotation, translation, and shear. So we want to get something like that up. So there are the original points, 1, 1, 1, 4, 4, 4, and 4, 1. And then back to 1, 1, just to close it. So just look at those points again there. So there's the original points, and we need one one to close it. So I've plotted the box there, and there in blue down below. Okay, just see. There's my shear. We're in a non-homogeneous form. Uh, there's the rotation. We're doing thirty degrees, and cos d sine d there cos of thirty degrees. If we left out the D, we left that out there, so we'd be getting the cos of 30 radians. Okay. So there's the translation in homogeneous form. So the dx is 3, the dy is 2, and then we need that third row, which is 0, 0, 1. So we look like that. I just left off the semicolon. So there we are in homogeneous form. So you have the identity matrix, the translation of the X is there, the translation in the Y is there. We have to make the shear homogeneous, and how we did that was, uh, Mr. Dave Marshall did, he created a three by three matrix, and he made it the identity matrix, so you have one, one, one down below, and then what he did was, in the first two rows and the first two columns, Whatever was in shear overwrote that. So all that happens there is that the tree popped in there. The rotation, yeah, you made a three by three identity matrix. And the first two rows and the first two columns, you popped in the rotation matrix. So you ended up like that, and you end up that one there carries on. Now you've got to make the original points homogeneous as well. So what we do there, we have the original points and we append one row with five columns of ones. So the MATLAB command to generate a matrix of ones is ones. So I'll just scroll down a little bit there. So there is the third row and there we have it in ones. Hope that's okay. Then we do the transformation, and we're doing rotation by shear by the, by the homogeneous, sorry, the translation by the rotation, by the shear, by the homogeneous points. I've left off the semicolon, and there's the results. Now, to do the plot, we have to extract the first two rows, because remember, this is in a homogeneous form. So we have to pluck it out, and how we pluck it out is row one, columns one to five, row two, columns one to five. Our, we take those points and plot them in red. 
and there they are. And in the second example, we still have the translation rotation and shear, but we just do them in a different order. So we're going to see it here. We're going to do the shear by the rotation, by the translation, by the original points. There's the original points. As before, we have to select the first row and the second row. Don't go too quick. So we have to, sorry for that. I left the semicolon in there, but we just have to get the first row, all the columns, the second row, all the columns, and plot them. And when we plot them, there we have it in red. Okay, just to say that the word version will be the link to the word version will be available in the description. Hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.